Okay. The delivery truck has just ran and this is what was in the mail. And we're gonna be doing an unboxing and review of this. This is a Hachi's Choice digital camera for toddlers. Now these can come in three different colors as you can see here. Blue, pink, or green. I chose blue because I have a son. I believe, you know, pink is more for girls and green is more for unisex, you know, either one. Anyways, this is the box. These are some of the features. It does video capture, photo capture. Uh, you connect it to your computer to either charge or to pull off the pictures and the video that is on the camera. And it does accept micro SD cards. And in fact, it does come with one. It comes with a 32 gig. Now, on the side of the box, it says record childhood and keep beautiful. And on the other side, it says children's digital camera. And on the back, this is some of the writing. It says Hachi's Choice Toys and it has the 32 gigabyte SD card included. And right here is the sticker that I need to cut. So I'm going to get out my handy dandy knife. Looks like there's stickers on each side of this guy. So I'm going to cut that sticker and cut that sticker. And then the box should be ready to open. You guys are going to see what's inside at the exact same time that I do. Voila. What we have here is, I'm just going to leave this out of the way here. We have a little tiny, see here's my thumb. This is a little tiny instruction manual. And like I always say, if you've seen any of my other review videos, I always tell you, you should read the instruction manuals because it tells you exactly how to operate this camera. Let's see what else we have in here. We have the camera itself. This is plastic. It feels like a toy, guys. And it's supposed to be a toy. Really feels kind of like a toy. On the side here is the micro... USB charger looks right here it already has a micro SD card inserted you just push it in and it pops out it's kind of like almost like spring loaded let's turn this around so you can see this be careful not to lose it that is a 32 gig let's get this into focus that is a 32 gigabyte micro SD card now let's put this the memory back into the camera do you hear it click listen I don't know if you heard that or not now on the back there is a little peel I'll try to get a good angle and you want to take this peel off see just kinda like that so you can see it better Let's see if there's anything in the front. No, there's not one in the front, guys. There's not one over this lens. So, this is a two inch diagonal LCD screen. Let's see what else this came with. This comes with a USB 2.0 micro SD card reader and it just pulls off just just like that and this is just a safety cover for the USB card and what this is for instead of hooking the camera straight up to the computer like you can do you can just insert your micro SD card like so let me get it out of the camera 
you can put your micro SD card into the USB stick just like that and then you put it into the computer's USB port and once this is in there you can transfer over your photos and your videos just like that it's so easy let's see what else is inside the box we have a strap to put on the camera we have this strap right here it goes around the camera it goes right here and that's so you won't drop it and let's see if there's anything else in this box nope nothing that's all that's in the box here's the power button this will power the camera on just hold it in for about two seconds and then it comes right on be the director of life and this button at the top lets you take photos or video whichever it is set to the left button will bring up the settings and it's set to 1080p and that is full HD by the way and then we have up and down arrows the OK button is at the top so that's how you change the settings here because this isn't a touch screen so I push up and down I'm gonna make it 3 megapixels and then I'm gonna hit OK and then it's saved to 3 megapixels I'm going on to the different menus auto off I'm going to turn that to on so I'm going to click OK and I'm going to set auto off for five minutes that way if your child leaves the camera just sitting it will go off by itself and not waste the battery you can change the light frequency to 60 and 50 Hertz Wow this actually has some games built into it if you can see that guys it game over so it actually has some games on this camera that your your kids can play it does two resolutions guys it does 1080p and 720p not really for sure on the frames per second but I believe I read somewhere it was 25 frames I could be wrong on that though and there is no image stabilization so if you shake the camera you'll probably get that jello effect you can turn the timestamp off which I'm going to do it's default set to take pictures and you push the uh, button up here to snap a picture just like that also a note the actual viewfinder here is not a viewfinder so that's just there for looks if you look in there uh, you're not going to see anything because on the other side see this is just for for looks okay the way to switch between pictures and video is this button right here and once you click it it displays the video up here and you just push this button down and you start recording video and I will put a sample of the video that this takes here is some test footage of the camera 
to show you guys what the uh, the recording quality of this camera is. Here is a car coming up this way. Don't know what that looks like. But anyways, I hope this gives you guys an idea of the quality of the camera. So those are the basic functions of the camera. So this has built-in games, take pictures, and a built-in rechargeable battery, all for under $30. Um, this has got to be hours of fun for your kids. Like I said, guys, don't buy this camera expecting that you're going to buy like a DSLR camera or even like a smartphone quality camera. This is just for fun. So I hope you've had fun reviewing and checking out this camera with me. If you would like to know how to get your very own, then look in the the video description box and I'm going to leave a link to this. I would give it a 7 out of a 10 stars because the casing it could have been made a little better but overall for what you're paying for it's a neat little toy. Anyways guys I would like for you to subscribe to my channel here and don't forget to smash that like button until next time, guys, all of my good people out there, have a good day.